New York. It was only two days ago that we lauded Roger Federer as a Jedi Master for his flawless win over Nick Kyrgios. We marveled at Federer's impossible forehands and how he flow dances from baseline to net. On Monday night, however, against world number 55 John Noman, Federer racked up 76 unforced errors. Federer struggled on serve and looked slow, sluggish and frustrated throughout a 3-6, 7-5, 7-6. 7-6, 3, 4th round loss. His earliest exit at the US Open since 2013. It was a stunning 180 by the 20 time the Grand Slam champ, who had all in attendance wondering what had gone so wrong. For some reason, I just struggled in the conditions tonight, Federer said in his post-match media conference, which started at 2 a.m. ET. It's one of the first times it's happened to me. I just thought it was very hot tonight. I felt I couldn't get air. There was no circulation at all. It's uncomfortable, sweating more and more and more and more as the match goes on. You lose energy as it goes by. When you feel like that, everything is off. It was an honest assessment from a player not known for showing his hand or conceding weakness, especially after a losing effort. John was able to deal with it better. Federer said of the conditions. He maybe comes from one of the most humid places on earth, Brisbane. I knew I was in for a tough one. Maybe when you feel like that, you start missing chances, and I had those. That was disappointing. Look, at some point I was just happy that the match was over. That's a stunning, and perhaps worrisome, confession from one of the most competitive athletes on the planet, who has said he will continue to play the game as long as the fight is in him to grind it out on tour. Monday's Labor Day match started like a typical day at work for Federer. He won the first three games, smashed three aces and needed only 33 minutes to take the first set 6-3. It looked like he would make short work of Melman, who called Federer my hero after the Aussie's third round win over Mikhail Kukushkin on Saturday and said he was just happy to be playing at Arthur Ashe Stadium for the first time. I felt like a deer in the headlights to begin with, Melman said of his play against Federer in the first set. My feet weren't moving, and Roger had it on a string and was manipulating me around the court. Federer reserved for the second set up 5-4 and 40-15, but Melman rallied to even the score at 5 all. Go to work, John. A fan yelled as a stunned crowd, which included Vogue editor and chief Ann Winter, former President Bill Clinton, Golden State Warriors head coach Steve Kerr and comedian John Mulaney, fell silent. There's more work to be done. Get. To. Work. John. Millman would win the next two games to even the match had one set apiece. When he held serve to go up 3-2 in the third set, fans started around the stadium chant of, Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi.